What's up guys, uh, this is Mr. Clutch, I'm working with the Gamers Lab now and I'm going to start uploading you guys with tons of videos and tips on how to make you better Madden players. Uh, for my first video, I'm going to do a tip breakdown and one thing that I want to cover is a route that I think gets um, underappreciated every year. So I'm going to cover it and show you guys how a potential route that no one really uses that often or might be an afterthought can be deadly to beat man and zone coverage on all areas of the field. So that route that I'm talking about is the C route. Um, anybody that knows me or seen me play online has seen that I love to go to this play on both um, long situations and short. There's one formation I'm using the run and gun playbook. There's one formation called gun tray open that I like to run these plays out of. And um, I'm going to show you them out of this. But these concepts can be applied to any different formation that has um, the receivers required and allows you to be able to put them on the certain hot routes in order to get these routes open. I'm going to go over two routes right now um, and show you how they beat both man and zone coverage. Um, and I'll talk about each one real quick. The first one I'm going to go over is corner strike. Um, this is really a... Um, uh, a route that I use to get uh, big gains. Um, usually it's going to give you at least 20-25 yards of play. Um, the other one that I like to run is called uh, Strong Flood and it's just using a C route out of the backfield. I love this play um, but you can use C routes out of the backfield and the concepts I'm going to show you out of pretty much any play and any formation. Uh, as long as you know the concept on how it works you'll be able to beat man his own coverage. Um, so today I'm using the Redskins and um, we're going to show you a, a quarterback that can't necessarily throw that well and a receiver that isn't that tall that, and just to show you that it pretty much works against anybody. So I'm going to call corner strike and the first uh, play, like I said, this beats man end zone coverage. I'll show you it against man first and I'll show you how open it gets. So the first thing about it is, is that it's unbumpable. The only setup for this really is, and I do this no matter what coverage I think it is, I'm going to streak R1. Um, that's going to take that deep safety. Um, so you'll see that this, even though this is a play that um, normally is a bumped route, the C routes automatically are unbumpable, which means they'll get a free release off of the line. Um, the C route is a great route to beat man, so um, I love having this on both sides. Uh, let's go ahead and run it, and we'll see how it looks. Easy money. I'm going to take a look at it real quick in the replay, and uh, we'll show you just how effective it really is. So as we see, we have the routes on both sides. Um, I see that they're pressed, and I know that we can get up, get open against cover two, a man against this. So the first thing he's going to do is going to get that free release. He's going to cut inside, and this is around the time where I see that I'm going to get ready to throw the ball. As soon as he cuts to the outside, he's going to get great separation, and you're going to be able to release the ball to the outside without any pass lead. Just throw a bullet. I like to run this play to the wide side because obviously you need a lot of of room to the sideline and you don't want to be um, running out of space and throwing the ball out of bounds so I do like to run this to the wide side but as you can see both players are going to get separation so even if you're in the middle of the field you can throw it to either one here Garcon I mean has his man completely backwards and then the, the route that we threw it to was Deshaun Jackson over here on the right and he got open as well So next I'll show you um, another popular uh, formation, I mean I'm sorry, another popular defense is the cover 3 this year um, and it also just absolutely destroys cover 3 as well. So here we'll go 3-4 and uh, we'll just run cover 3 sky, just a basic cover 3 defense. I do like to slide my line to the right and um, block my running back if I know that they're going to be potentially sending pressure or I want to make sure I have enough time to throw but it doesn't require you to send a lot of it doesn't require a lot of time in order for you to get this off so a ton of time is not necessarily uh, required there so all again all I do is um, streak R1 to get this open what that does is it's going to take the deep blue zone with them and the flat zone is going to drag down the flat zone of the defensive player and you'll see this on Jackson gets wide open in the corner of the sideline so here we go, we drop back, just throw it, wide open. The, the cornerback dropped down a little bit. I think I rushed it and he threw it a little bit early. Uh, let's try that again. The longer you wait, the more, the more open it'll be. Um, but if you don't have the time to throw, you still can fit that in there. So let's try that again. He drops, 
there's your separation. Sean Jackson wasn't able to come down with it, but um, as you can see, it's it's open. You try that one more time against cover three. He is getting bumped. Oh, practice mode is a little tough sometimes, <laughs> which is why I like to block the running back. But um, let's try that again. He is getting bumped, and that's causing a little bit of problems. But um, let's try here. We're going to try a different formation because I don't like the... You don't want um, Deshaun Jackson to get bumped because that's gonna you're going to slow him down, and he's not going to get that quick burst of separation that he needs. Oh, uh, we'll go corner strike. Uh, well, actually, let's go against nickel because that's a really popular formation and people like to run coverage out of it a lot. So let's see if we can get what we're looking for here. Let's block the running back, uh, slide line to the right, and then streak R1. And there we go. You got that. That's what I'm looking for, that easy separation and that pocket where you can throw the ball into. So here, let's take a look out, a breakdown exactly when I'm releasing the ball for you. All right, so again, I streaked um, number 12, Roberts, and I blocked my halfback. He's going to go on a streak. All right, so he's going to go on a streak, and um, this guy's going to come down to the flats. The flat defender is going to drop with him. And that's going to leave um, that's going to leave Deshaun Jackson right here in the pocket for you to make that quick pass. the The timing on this route is pretty simple. If you get in practice mode, you'll be able to figure it out relatively quickly. But um, you want to throw it pretty much as soon as he's about to break to the outside. So as soon as he makes that step, that first step, boom, I'm letting it go. Okay. So um, you don't want to throw it here. And you don't want to wait until it's already out here before you release it. As you can see, um, the ball's already in the air when I'm letting it go at that point. So you don't want to wait until here to throw because you might get it out of bounds. But I'll show you what it looks like if you release it a little bit late. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You still most of the time can complete it, but sometimes it'll be out of bounds. So there you go. To he toe-tapped. Like I said, the longer you wait, the more, the more open it'll be, but a higher percentage that you'll be, you um, will be throwing it out of bounds. So, I mean, that's that's perfect right there. I'm not throwing a bullet at all. I mean, I'm not throwing any pass lead. I'm just going, I'm just throwing a bullet and I'm throwing it as soon as he cuts to the outside. It's about one, two, three, four. I hope Deshaun Jack, I mean, RG3 is not a great passer, but I think you guys get the, the idea. So I want to show you one thing because a lot of people might think that uh, well, this doesn't gonna, isn't going to do a good job of beating cover four, but I'm here to show you that it is. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, sorry. Corner strike is the play. Um, let's go to, we'll go to nickel. See if we can find a cover four out of here. And here we go with the cover four. So same setup. I'm going to streak R1. Slide my line right block out for Morris and I'm gonna wait for him to get open now it is a lot a lot tighter throw but he still is coming in underneath on that the longer that you wait the better it's gonna be but you should definitely be able to have a window to fit it in there there you go so go ahead and give that a try uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think um, if you're able to make some, some plays with it, if you think it's getting picked off, if you're doing something wrong, just let me know. I'll um, upload some gameplay a little later, and you guys will be able to see me do it in action. I mean, as you can see, this is getting 20, easy 20 yards of a play. You know, you mix this in with your offense, and, and you'll be golden. There we go. That's against cover four. So it beats Ban. It beats cover three, it beats cover four. The only thing you might have trouble with and you want to watch out for is if your opponent's running cover two sync because that purple zone will drop down and swat the ball. So that's the only, really the only defense that's going to lock that, um, lock that route up. So next I want to show you another route that I like on short yardage out of the same formation. 
and that's the uh, C route out of the backfield. The play is called Strong Flood, but you can do this out of many different formations as long as it has a C route for um, a running back coming out of the backfield. Again, this beats man end zone, um, and it's a more quick, it's a lot quicker pass, and it's just something to kind of keep your player, your um, defensive player, the defensive player honest. So um, I'm just going to run it against cover two man right now, stock, and you'll be able to see how he makes a cut across the middle of the field. You want to kind of wait on it against man because of the initial throw, he's not open, but once he cuts across the field, he'll get wide open for you. Here he goes, here he goes, and there it is, easy money. Uh, this route works similar no matter what formation and what, what playbook you're in. Um, you call this C route and it's going to get wide open for you. Alfred Morris is obviously pretty slow and um, Harris is a pretty good linebacker so um, that just shows you a good example if you actually have a speed running back or Reggie Bush or um, any route and receiver Arian Foster that um, has good route running and good hands it'll be money for you. So let's show you against Sone uh, what I like to do. And again, this is one of my favorite plays on third down. I also run this a lot in the red zone. Um, you know, if you get in the goal line and you get stuck, you find yourself running out of plays, committing turnovers in the red zone, forcing the ball into coverage. This is a great play to mix in. So we'll call again. The play's called Strong Flood, but you can get any formation. Um, any Anytime you can get a C route of the backfield, you'll be golden with it. So this also will be cover two as well. So let's show you first against cover two. Um, all you want to do, what I like to do, and you don't have to, you can run the stock and it'll get open. But what I like to do is put square, um, my wide receiver on the left, on a smoke screen. And what that's going to do is draw the flat down. So if it's in cover two or cover three, he's going to fly over there. Against cover two, that linebacker is not going to react, um, but that um, cornerback will. Um, but I kind of just do that out of habit either way. Um, so anyway, we're going to run the play. What you're going to see is that Alfred Morris is going to take two steps to the outside and then cut up field. And as soon as he cuts up field, you want to let it go. So let's see how it turns out. That's yeah, easy money. The good thing about this formation is that the, the I mean, I'm sorry, about this route is that the um, defense doesn't really acknowledge that it's a route until it comes out of the backfield. And if you throw it fast enough, your receiver is already going to be five to seven yards upfield before the defense even reacts. Um, I like to use this play to try to force my opponent to have to man, I mean, to use her with that player with that linebacker on that side of the field and it allows me to do anything I want on the right side of the field and abuse their computer so anyway let's show you again here against cover two as soon as he cuts up the field I'm gonna release the ball and then try to get an extra couple yards another reason why I really like this play is because it keeps your player your opponent honest um, if they're blitzing off of the edges or if they're trying to send some some heat or a user in with the defensive line you're gonna be able to just abuse the corner um, and abuse the computer on this play. So um, here we go. We put them on the smoke screen. Wait for them to cut out and toss and throw the ball afield. Alfred Morris is dropping the ball there, but you see the con the idea. Now, I would say probably the absolute best play to run this on on defense would be the cover three. If you run this against cover three, your guy your guy's gonna get wide open green grass. So let me show you here um, this route against cover three, and just show you how effective it is. So here we go, we're going to run the cover three sky play. What's going to end up happening is that linebacker that's down on the ground is blitzing on the left side. Um, your linebacker that's, <coughs> I'm sorry, standing up is going to go to, oh, hold on, let me see. The linebacker that's in the flat zone is going to be dragging, or is going to drag out to play that smoke screen, and it's going to leave this left side of the um, field wide open. So let's show you what it looks like. green grass.